viral outbreaks are a fact of life. How much damage they do is something we can influence. One of the most important areas of international cooperation is research and development. A vaccine is still at least 12 to 8, 18 months away. In the meantime, we recognize that there is an urgent need for therapeutics to treat patients and save lives. Today, we're delighted to announce that today in Norway and Spain, the first patients will shortly be enrolled in the solidarity trial, which will compare the safety and effectiveness of, our, of four different drugs or drug combinations against COVID-19. This is a historic trial, which will dramatically cut the time needed to generate robust evidence about what drugs work. More than 45 countries are contributing to the trial, and more have expressed interest. The more countries who join the trial, the faster we will have the results. In the meantime, we call on all individuals and countries to refrain from using therapeutics that have not been demonstrated to be effective in the treatment of COVID-19. The history of medicine is strewn with examples of drugs that worked on paper or in a test tube, but didn't work in humans or were actually harmful. During the most recent Ebola epidemic, for example, some medicines that were thought to be effective were found not to be as effective as other medicines when they were compared during a clinical trial. We must follow the evidence. There are no shortcuts. We also need to ensure that using unproven drugs does not create a shortage of those medicines to treat diseases for which they have proven effective. As the pandemic evolves and more countries are affected, we're learning more and more lessons about what works and what doesn't. WHO is continuing to support all countries in their response. 